Nazigi Sako has moved to court to challenge the suspension of their license for 243 buses after two of their crew members were charged with stripping a woman in Gidurai. They say it is unfair to suspend the income generating capacity of all these people over the mistake of a single driver in a town who are already being held accountable for their actions. Through lawyer Harrison Kinyanjui, the Sako has told the court that 1,000 drivers and conductors have been rendered jobless by the decision of the National Transport and Safety Authority. We are holding discussions with them. They came to the office. I, I really wanted to get the inside story. What we've told them is that they now start making full compliance. And as they make full compliance, we continue now releasing uh, uh, their vehicles. But we are making sure that every single uh, compliant uh, regulation is going to be to be followed. The case Iko Kotini. The way I understood it and my understanding is um, uh, I don't want to comment. He, however, says the NTCA acted with its mandate when it suspended Nazigi's license on Friday. The ban was not two weeks. They were given, it was two weeks to make compliance, to meet compliance. Okay. So we are meeting with them uh, to understand the matter and also now to make sure that uh, they comply with every single uh, NTSA regulation. For Olive Barrows, I'm Margaret Wahito, Capital TV.